A team of international experts arrived in Fukushima, Japan today to observe the cleanup from the nuclear plant meltdown this past spring. Among those lending the recovery a hand on one nearby island is a man from Oklahoma with his own ideas about getting things up and running again. Here's Lucy Kraft. To the volunteers and fishermen on this devastated island, he's known as Steve's son. A one-man recovery team who says it's time Japanese stopped getting pushed around by bureaucrats with one-size-fits-all solutions to their problems. Japan has been pretty much leaderless, not just politically, but also bureaucratically. The bureaucrats don't know what direction to take the country in. Bureaucrats usually send out volunteers for one duty only, clearing debris whether the recipients want it or not. Local initiative is discouraged. But Steve decided to empower this island. He discovered they didn't want any help with debris, but were desperate to start fishing again. This local man says Steve listened to what we really wanted done. Almost every weekend, Steve runs volunteer tours to the distressed island of Miyatojima. These people have come here from all over Japan to help rebuild equipment lost in the tsunami. And without their help, the local people would not be able to get their nets back in the water in time for this year's seaweed harvest. Steve's son came to Japan as exchange student Stephen Whitney back in the 1980s. To win over his future father-in-law, he agreed to adopt the family surname and take Japanese citizenship, becoming Steve Yamaguchi. Now he operates a tourist agency in rural Yamagata Prefecture. Steve's son remains the outspoken individualist from Norman, Oklahoma. Remember those scenes of Japanese huddled in evacuation centers? Many saw discipline and stoicism, Steve saw resignation. The bulk of the people you know, sat on gymnasium floors and did exactly what the bureaucrats told them to do. That is, there's nothing they can do about it, you know, therefore just obey and suffer. They're very good at, at putting up with a lot of suffering. And for Steve Yamaguchi, ending that suffering means a recovery mixed with some revolution. We've got the Lilliputians and we got Goliath, and I'm really interested in seeing that one side wins and the other one doesn't. On this remote island, at least, the little guys have a chance. Lucy Kraft, CBS News, Miyatojima, Japan.